Well, I'm sorry about starting late today. I have an individual who is uh, from Romania, and my Romanian isn't up to par, and we were trying to speak Italian, and and his English wasn't so good either, but uh, uh, we were able to try to help him out a little bit. He's trying to make his way to Sioux Falls to get back to Romania, so a very interesting story, but uh, it takes a little time to explain, as you can tell, so I'm glad you were able to stay here with me to be patient with me. Uh, to do pray for you. all those that are being affected by the coronavirus. Uh, sometimes we're forgetting those who are uh, finding themselves unemployed and in a very desperate situations. I could never imagine being stuck in Romania as an American during the coronavirus. Imagine what it would be like. So I, I, I sympathize with what he's going through. So let us uh, begin with the entrance antiphon. Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O oh God, who made St. Peter Cla Claver a, a slave of slaves and strengthened him by, with a wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant uh, through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one would by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing, not rejoicing, those buying and not owing, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world is in is uh, for the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your uh, people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen, Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. O gl all glorious is the king's daughter as she enters her raiment is uh, threaded with uh, with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is borne uh, into the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, and see and bend your ear. They are born in uh, uh, in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. 
the place of your fathers, your, uh, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter, and see and bend your ear. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and reap for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exalt and exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this, in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we celebrate uh, St. Peter Claver. Uh, if you don't know very much about him, uh, it really has a lot to do with what you're seeing in the 21st century, with uh, as you're seeing on TV, Black Lives Matter. And of course, with the Father, uh, Father Claver, he was a Jesuit priest in Colombia. He was the one who would go out into the slave ships and 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 recognize, uh, as people are saying, white privilege. He, if you want to talk about white privilege, he recognized that he did have an advantage over these poor slaves that were right in the boats themselves, and he would go out there and minister to them because why? Black lives do matter. They truly do matter, as all souls of God do matter. And he gave himself over to be the slave to the slaves. He gave himself entirely to these individuals. And, and this is why it is uh, such a regret when you do see what is going on here in the United States, people being so naive and ignorant of history and ignorant of the saints. St. Peter Claver would be listening to these protesters on the streets and would be literally able to look in them in the face and say, tell me about it. You're going to tell me about this? I know injustice when I see it. And what you're experiencing is uh, intolerance, not injustice. And what we have to do is tolerate evil. We do have to tolerate evil as Christians. And most especially, learning to turn the other cheek. Listening to what Jesus is saying in today's gospel from, from Luke. You know, Blessed are those who do live the Christian way. Blessed are those who leave these beatitudes. Because to the world, it's ridiculous. But to God, he was a very careful watcher. He is the one who will give us the reward. But it makes it very clear. And this is one thing that we have to see with these individuals that are rioting and, and tearing down statues uh, in front of churches and uh, in, in public squares. Woe to you when, uh, to, uh, to you when oh, they speak well of you, for your ancestors were treated uh, by the false prophets in the same way. We always have to recognize those who are the false prophets around us and not to be bothered by them, but rather, as Peter, uh, Father Peter Claver himself would do, to love, to love our neighbors as ourselves, even when they are intolerant and hateful towards us. And this is on both sides of the street. So with that, let us now stand together through the intercession of St. Peter Claver as we are going through some, so much turmoil that by his intercession and his prayers, as he, he does, does, uh, did serve those who were in slave ships, to be able to come and, and be with those individuals who are feeling such angst uh, in our society today. 
So Heavenly Father, we do pray for the rioters and, and those who are being destructive. May, may you send your Holy Spirit to bring peace into their hearts, uh, to turn uh, their, their uh, swords into plowshares, and to bring your peace back into our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, help our country. We are more and more becoming more secularized and, and turning away from our Judeo-Christian roots, those based specifically on the Beatitudes of, of Jesus. Heavenly Father, help our country to, to find their roots and, and to return to that aspect that to the world seems contradictory, but at the same time, when everybody practices the Beatitudes, we can find peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we turn to you and do pray for all those who are missionaries who go out into the world to plant the seed of the gospel Heavenly Father, be with them to give them encouragement, especially when they're having diminishing returns for, for the work that they do, that they realize that they are working uh, for, for those few souls that will be, uh, be able to generate 30, 60, and 100 fold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, just as Father uh, Peter Claver would go to the slave ships and, and baptize those individuals who we're so desperately in need of faith. We we pray for all those of, of those who are seeking you out that they may, by our light, uh, like Father Peter Claver, that they may come to know you better. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we turn to you and we pray for those individuals who are finding themselves alone and destitute. We we pray for those individuals who were feeling uh, abandoned. Heavenly Father, again, come and give consolation to these individuals. Help them along the way that they can find their true home, which is uh, not only just here on earth, but also to know peace is found in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we turn to you, Heavenly Father, with our prayers for our farmers and ranchers who you've blessed so much this, this year. Heavenly Father, may they always appreciate your, your daily attendance to them as they, they do toil in the fields and work with the animals. Keep them safe as they literally feed the world by the work of their hands. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we pray for those individuals who are seen as uh, second-class citizens or not even having humanity, the, the slaves of the 21st century. We even particularly think of the unborn who are in danger of death by abortion from whom we offer this Mass and, and for the ending of abortion. Heavenly Father, may the inspirational life of St. Peter Claver help us to help those who just don't understand the gospel of life and embrace the, our, our culture of death. May your light shine upon these individuals and, and reje reject the temptation of abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we present you all. So those who are sick amongst us, especially those that are being infected by the coronavirus in any way, Heavenly Father, we, we do pray for their health, not only just physical, but also psychological, that, that again, they can return to your altar of praise with us soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we pray for all of our holy dead. May they share the promise of eternal resurrection, eternal life with you in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we turn to you with those petitions that we hold dearest to our own hearts and present them to you through the silence of our hearts, knowing that they scream before your throne. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, it is again with great joy that we come before you and give you the praise and worship that is rightfully yours. And on this day, as we celebrate as such great examples of such saints as St. Peter Claver, may, may we also be appreciative of your uh, blessings that you have given to us in our lifetime, especially the, the freedoms that we have gained here in the United States. Heavenly Father, we present these petitions to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, our mediator, our elder's brother, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Peter Claver, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacramental mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter Claver, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took uh, the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said to his disciples, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and et uh, eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep sleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And again, if you take up your uh, word among us or you're living with Christ, let us say together the communion antiphon as we honor St. Peter Claver today. Blessed is a servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. And again, if you will, in your prayers, uh, do pray for an end of abortion, our, our 21st of, uh, century version of, again, slavery, uh, that we recognize the value of human life and also uh, treasure it as well, rejecting the temptation of our culture of death, which so much prevails our, our history as, as an American church and as a country. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all we celebrate, uh, in, in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Claver, that we may serve in integrity the gifts of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.